What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Yo, I'm like, I'm telling you right now, I'm overwhelmed for how much like, you know, when there's so much that just comes at you at once, especially like uh, even my like daily, my daily routine, there's just so I've, I've just been so go, 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 bro. I'm so overwhelmed. And with this call, I've again, I have I've like learned so much. I'm just overwhelmed, but I'm excited that it's here now. Uh, hopefully I can organize it and speak properly. And yeah, it's going to be recorded, guys. So don't you stress about that. Don't worry about it. But um, I have so fucking much to say. I have so much to cover. I know this call technically. Um, I know, bro, this call is supposed to be about creatives. And we're going to obviously go heavily in creatives. But I have, I want to cover like everything. I want to cover every fucking aspect of this business. Because I've just learned so much in every aspect. So um yeah, I'm happy you guys here. I'm just gonna wait. You know, I don't even want to like wait long because I got. I don't want to make this call too long. So uh, I'm gonna wait one more minute for people to join, and then I'm gonna get straight into it. But everyone, how's your Fridays going? How, how, how are you guys doing? You know, how's how's the stores? How's the the life, personal life? What's better doing micro? We're already getting questions. Jeez. What's better, doing market research and finding product that solves problems there, or the same old ad library and method that all gurus talk about with looking products with 30 plus creative? Bro, both. Why Why would you do one or the other? You have to do both. One one is choosing a product that actually will, will have people to buy, and the other one is showing the proven concept of it actually sells. Both. Um, Not new mentor, just bro, just... Bro, connecting, and that's another topic we have to talk about. Uh, very okay. I'm gonna get straight into this, but um, all I gotta say is, um, yo, okay, yeah, bro, I got so much. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get into this. All right. So first, I want to say, after this call, you have homework. After this call, you have fucking homework. Please go watch. The last podcast I posted it in resources, it is from Rippy Club. It is from um, Anthony Rippy Club, not Anthony Clips, Anthony and Samir. I promise you, bro, please watch it. I beg you. Like, I'm begging you. It there. Yes, this call will be recorded. Um, th- I don't know if you're skeptical if they're fucking gurus or not. Trust me, they're not. They're people that have done you know, millions and millions of dollars in e-com and they're generally just trying to help people out. And yes, obviously they sell something. So that might give the perception of fucking gurus. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, they're really not, I, you know, I'm just, I'm starting to experiencing myself when you sell something, you have to kind of filter uh, what's like what you give for free and what you give in your paid because obviously it's not fair if you give everything out for free. And then the people that are paying will be like, I could have just got this info for free, right? So obviously they don't say everything for in the free, but bro, that hour and a half podcast is an eye opener and you should really, really watch it, please. Like it, it, it is a homework. I'm telling you, at least I'm not like school where I'm giving you fucking shit homework. This is just an hour and a half. Put it in the background. Well, background, pay attention though, but put it like while you're driving, working out, but listen, um, they're both really, really good. And a lot of the things we're going to be covering, uh, you know, are from that podcast uh, and from them. The link, bro, you're, can someone, I knew people were going to say that, bro. It's in resources, please. I'm sure maybe some mod might be generous, but bro, you can clearly just go on resources and fucking, and press podcast. It's two buttons. Um, yeah, I don't even want you to put the link, bro. Go, go. People can fuck if people can fucking go, bro. Um, is Ant good? What do you mean? Ant Rippy Club? There it is. <laughs> Ant Rippy Club? Yes, he's good. Ant Eclipse? Fuck no. Anyways, let's move on. I got, again, so much to... Bro, bro, bro. I don't know what he does. Like, Sade, Sade knows everything, all the behind the scenes, bro. The value he gives, I like, okay? All right. All right. 
Anyways, Sage is just exposing, bro. I, I get... <laughs> okay, maybe Samir then. Maybe not Rippy Club, but the whole podcast is Samir giving sauce. It's not... It, it's just Rippy Club hosting the podcast. It's Samir that I find genuine who is doing is doing multi-million dollars and he is really helping it out anyways let's move on we're not here to expose gurus okay i first want to um go into mindset and i know some people might be like, oh, what the fuck but i i just because i've seen so many people struggle nowadays like they're in a really bad mental space um and i get it obviously you know it's q4 and a lot of people are winning and you see these people winning and you might say like yo what the fuck? Am I shit or or on X? Yeah, you know X is a is a big platform as well. Yo, first of all, before we start anything, seriously, my, you gotta get your mind in, in proper shape. And I'm gonna try to ignore the chat as much as possible. I have a lot. And at the end of the day, you have to really understand that this game is actually all luck. Like majority of it is luck. There. You know, there are people who run the same product. Even on that podcast, you, you, you've you had Samir, who's who's done millions of dollars. So you know that his testing strategies and his systems are good. He's tested the same products as other people, same everything. And he it was a failing product for him and someone else scaled it to a million dollars, right? The same product, same creatives, everything. So I'm telling you right now, even though you, even though that you have every good system, you test everything as best to your abilities, it could fail. And then even though you do test something shit, it could work. It is, it, it's it's luck. Think about it as an algorithm, you know? Uh, Facebook is an algorithm or even TikTok, but Facebook is an algorithm. And at the end of the day, no one can hack the algorithm. Not even fucking Mark Zuckerberg himself knows exactly what the, it's an algorithm. It's too advanced. So at the end of the day, it's like a fucking slot machine. You're just shitting fucking creatives to it and you're hoping one will fucking work. Okay. So first understand that because I feel like that could leave a lot of pressure off of you and saying like, I'm not good enough. I'm not skilled enough. I promise you right now, at the end of the day, majority is luck. You know, do you know that guy, Nick? I don't know if a lot of you were in luxury lounge uh, at this time, but we had a guest called Nick who's done a million dollar a day during COVID. Okay. First of all, he's actually legit. At the time, I didn't like, I was a bit skeptical, but he's actually legit. And when people ask him like, what was the fucking thing? And he's like, bro, it's just luck. And at the end of the day, it it is. It's luck. Okay. I have to ignore Chad, bro. I'm going to get distracted. <laughs> so please understand that it is, it is a, it's the game of not giving up. I, I, I like, I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. Uh, so many people are in such a bad mentality right now and I get it. I get it. And we're like, you always think to yourself, am I going to make it? Is this going to work for me? How come it's working for someone else? And it's not working for me, bro. If you, it, the same thing as Tate says, if you show up every day, you won't miss a lucky day. Just keep showing up every day. Just keep fucking testing and your lucky day will fucking come. Okay. The simple saying of, if you will never quit, if you never quit, you'll, you'll never fail. Okay. But please, like, I, I, I don't know whoever struggling my, uh, with their mindset who, who's been more down lately, who's having troubles. I promise you. I promise you, like, uh, there's one thing I can fucking promise you in life. There's death, taxes, and you'll get whatever the fuck you want if you literally try every day. Those are the three things. Please just keep trying. Like, I I can't st- emphasize this enough. Also, um, community and connections are super, super important. That's why I built this community. Again, I was watching that podcast, and a lot of... The lot of things that I'm, I'm listening to their stories and a lot of things that's like open opportunities for them. These people to make millions is just connect connections, connections, connection, connections. So just wake up every day, try every day, connect with people, join. It doesn't even have to be just as discord. Obviously you join other communities and connect, 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 connect. And one day you'll fucking, you know, that connection you made with someone could end up being a million dollar opportunity. Okay, just 
I know, bro, you guys are all trolling. I know this Discord's a lot of trolling, but please, I know some people are struggling. And I just really want to mention before and like we move on because it's super important to understand that you have to switch your mindset from not if I'm going to make it, it's when. Because you know that you're never going to give up until you fucking get it. It's when, it's not if. Once you finally fucking switch that mindset, you'll like you'll then start seeing progress because there's no more friction there's no more doubt there's no more fear and then one more thing is i get it we're all short on money you know we're all very short on money and everyone is in different like positions but please do not be scared to spend money like that uh, not don't spend it stupidly obviously but be, if you're so confident in in you're going to make it and switching that mindset to when you know money is going to flow to you eventually you know money is going to be coming in so do not be scared to spend money on your business do not be scared if you if you want to try someone's um you know community and it has to be paid not just this one obviously you guys are already in here but i'm saying there's other communities that i'm that i always like i'm always in a new community that's paid like almost every month because it's just like i i I need the connections. I need the information and do not be scared to fucking spend money on your business. You have to, it's a must. Okay. Please switch that mindset to you're going to make it. Um, you're going to make it and money is going to be flowing to you very, very fucking easily. Okay. So do not be scared. That's it. If you guys have any other things you're struggling with, let me know, obviously on the, in the, in the, you know the comments or DM me privately but I just want to go over quick mindset because I've seen so many people struggle and I fucking I fucking hate it because it's just like bro please just keep fucking going like that's the only key it's a fucking game of volume it's a game of luck at the end of the day so please just keep trying and you will not miss a lucky day if you try I go to the gym four or five times a week Anyways, now let's get to the actual business information, okay? Uh, let me take a sip of coffee. So before this call, I made a poll talking about what do you guys struggle with? And for fuck's sakes, this shit was fucking e like even. Products, creatives, products, creatives. It was like 50-50 going back. Now, obviously, the majority of the call will be creatives, but I do want to touch about products because I know, how, I know some people had questions about products. But the reason, um, the reason why I will quickly touch up on products is because it actually should not be complicated. Okay, there is not like I just explained to you how this game's like um, the amount of luck plays into this game. So obviously, you you want to be testing products that are not shit, and you want to be testing products that solve some type of problem. Okay, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that these these there's no winning product. There's not, it's not the product that's going to make you money. Okay. It's not the product that like this one product that if you stumble upon it, you're going to be like, Oh, here's my six figure month. No. Okay. You have to understand for real. It's not that. And let me just help you understand. So I'm going to start sharing my screen. This can be, I have a lot of sharing the screen today. So hopefully we can manage, um, manage this good. Okay, uh, the recording, I have to switch the screen to this. Okay. You, you, you guys are seeing my screen, right? Oh, uh, wait, I kind of want to... Unfortunately, I want the recording to have my face this time. Sorry, guys. So I'll take off my face for the recording. And uh, here we go. Okay. So you have to understand with um, with products, right? The first first thing to analyze with a product is the the behind the scenes. So there's the product. This has, this is guaranteed. Every time you look at a product, it has to be does it solve a problem? Pump and dump camp. <laughs> um, oh, because it says pump and go. Um, so. You have to understand that the product has to solve a problem. That's a must. If it's not solving a product, you're shooting yourself in the fucking foot, okay? Pro it solves a product. Problem. Now, we're going to be talking about mass desires. Now, mass desires is very, very different. 
Now, when you see these, when you see these, um, you guys are bro. You guys are fucking looking. Stop fucking looking at my fucking milk bag. <laughs> um, so basically, oh, fuck you guys make it so hard to be serious. Um, so basically, you have to talk about mass desires, right? Yo, guys, okay. You have to talk about mass desires, right? So mass desire is like a spectrum, okay? You got one end on the other. So here you have the no, here you have the biggest mass desire possible. So you have like, oh, I'm so bad with drawing. I don't I won't honestly, I won't even try. I won't even try. Okay? Here you have the big I'm going to draw a big circle cuz this is the big mass desire. So you got fucking wealth, you got health, and you got relationships. Those are the three big mass desires. And obviously at the end is probably like, um, like, I don't know, gifting, um, s solving fucking, I don't know, uh, like clothing, just like fashion, like fashion. So it's a small mass desire. Okay. Now the, when you, when you have to think a bit more of a head and you have to think about the product, if you end up wanting to have to do like 50K days, 100K days, the product has to fall in a mass desire because you're so, you you have to give it to a lot of people to make that money, right? So it has to fall more in the mass desire. And mass desire is very different from solving a problem. Solving a problem is solving a problem. And a mass desire could be like, um, um, you know, um, fuck. <laughs> like for an example... It's cold outside and everyone wants to be warm. It's not really a huge problem, but everyone wants to be warm during cold season, right? That's a mass desire. Like every fucking aunts, uncles, moms, dads. So basically you want to understand that when you choose a product, it has to be like, all right, can I sell this to the masses? Uh, obviously it goes both ways, right? Because here you have another spectrum. Here you got saturation. Uh, maybe make a different color with this. How do I go back? Bro, I'm so bad with this. Bear with me, please. How do I change color? Okay. Here, you got saturation. So now, the bigger the, bigger the mass desire is, the more the saturation is going to be. Big, big saturation, small saturations. And then the smaller the mass desire is, the less saturation is going to be. Okay. So let's say for an example, this is selling a beauty product, right? A beauty product has a mass desire. There's a lot of women that want to look beautiful. And on the other side, you have golfing niche. You want to sell like a golf, a golf club. There's only a selected few that play golf and like golf. So you can probably reach maybe five, 10K days max, but you will not be doing 100K days because, because, because you're not going to be able to target mass desire. So obviously, when you're choosing a product, you have to answer these two questions, mass desires and saturations. You want to try to find something in the middle. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too little. You're just shooting yourselves in the foot. You want to find something in the little sweet spot. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> I just want to, I don't want to spend too much time on fucking products. Um, all right, stop sharing screen. Okay. Now for uh for now I'm not gonna start not share screen the recording. I'm so fucking sorry guys. I'm not a tech savvy guy. If you guys knew that. Uh, display capture. Go back to the Discord. Okay. So basically, what I what what I want you guys to understand, there's no winning product. But what what a lot of people do, what a lot of people do, is you have to you have to look at a winning product. Let's say for an example, the, the heated winter jacket, okay? Th that's the most saturated winter product. But you have to understand the behind the scenes of that product. Why does it sell? Well, obviously it, it heats people up during the fucking winter. It's pretty fucking obvious, straightforward, but it's good. It's a good example. So now instead of going to sell that product, try to find another product that solves this. Like it's in the same, it does the same thing. So maybe uh, heated gloves, heated socks, heated fucking butthole warmer, whatever it may be. But now you're you're in the same you're in the same mass desire field, but you're doing a different product and it's less saturated because not everyone's running it. Okay, a lot of people do that. So now you really just have to understand 
you have to stop using spy tools okay because think about it everyone using spy tools how are you going to have an advantage okay stop using spy tools you can use spy tools to like confirm a product but you have to put like i like to work backwards think of the problem think of the audience and then find products on other websites like for an example a, a cool strategy that i've recently learned was 